Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to the Code One Digest channel. Today, in this video, we will see what is containerization, what is the use of containerization, what is Docker, how can you create Docker image for your project, how can you deploy the Docker image, what is the important of containerization. Okay, so stay tuned and keep watching Code One Digest. Interesting stuff going to come in this video. Okay, friends, before we proceed in this video. I want to request you to subscribe my channel. I am creating a lot of quality content, but I am not getting subscribers or likes and share for my videos. Please, I need your help in growing this Code One Digest family. That is the only motivation what I what I have. If you can help me in growing this community, will really be helpful. Please show your love to me and do subscribe this channel. Click on the bell icon. And subscribe Code One Digest channel for the latest video. Thank you. Okay, here is the agenda for today. We'll understand what is Docker, what is Docker container, what is Docker file, how can we create a Docker file, what all instruction goes into Docker file. Then we'll understand what is containerization, what is Docker image, how can we create Docker image. Then we'll see how to run the Docker image into a container. We'll test that image and we'll test our application in the browser. And then we'll conclude with the summary of this video. So stay tuned till end of the video. I'll show you a step by step guide how to do containerization of your Java project. In terms of prerequisite, what we want is one, one Spring Boot project or any Java project. I'm using a microservice API hello world project to test my docker container docker image second what second thing what you need is a docker setup so docker installation I'm not showing in this video I have created another video for it you can check that video if you want and do a setup in your machine if you already have a docker setup then well and good we can use it Let's start with the project. I'll show you now how can we containerize this project? How can we run this project in a Docker container? What all things we have to do? I'll guide you step by step from the very beginning. So very first thing that you have to do is to build your project. But before that, I'll just show you what is this project all about. It's just a simple Spring Boot project. So this is my Spring Boot main class. Need not to worry about. This is very basic. And this is my simple controller, hello controller. And having one endpoint where I'll say hello and the name. And I'm just returning hello name. So if somebody called with the name Pawan, they will it will return hello Pawan. As simple as that. This is a very simple ap application and it works fine. Here if I'll run it, it will run. I'll show it. Yeah, it is running and starting on 8080. If I hit 8080, it will work that way. Cool. We'll stop this. Now, very first thing that we have to do is we have to build this project using Maven. I'm selecting clean and install so that we have jar file created with all the required configuration and properties file in a target folder because we are going to use that for our containerization. I'll just do that clean and install clean will clear the target directory and install will compile the code package the libraries classes and uh, configurations everything right so now the target folder is updated okay now what we'll do is we'll work on the docker file the docker file is important docker file tells how to create image containerize image okay how can we create image of our project so we'll define all the commands in the docker file okay and we'll see what is docker file and <clears throat> so docker file always sits at the root of the project if you see this docker file it is sitting at the root of my project i'll open this docker file and see what i have defined not fancy stuff just three line of code and you can remember it easily i'll i'll explain all three line okay so what we are telling docker uh, in docker file is what I need to run my jar file 
because I have prepared my jar file. I have a jar file and in my project jar file. I have all the dependencies all the libraries all the configuration is there is packed in a jar. It's a runnable jar. Okay, but if you see a docker container docker container is just an operating system running okay it's is a empty operating system running okay but it will not have any runtime environment it will not have any java it will not have a software that you need to run your project what do you need to run it you obviously need java first okay you will need java java runtime environment to run that jar so for that we are saying okay download open jdk image version 8 okay that is first line in first line we are seeing what software we what what software i need second uh, uh, on second line i am saying okay what to copy what to add to my image so we can also use copy command people always have query what is the difference between add and copy i'll come to that in later part of the video for now i'm using add and i'll explain what is add so i'm saying add target starter jar so take a jar from target folder and put it into image with the name application jar dot jar but remember whatever name you give here you have to give that here in your entry point okay third is the command entry point so when the image is created so what is the entry point for that image how you how you how will you run your application so you are saying java minus jar and whatever jar you have added to the image okay with me very simple no fancy stuff so this three command will create image for me now i'll show you how to create image i'll give you the commands okay now let's see what is the step to create an image okay let me show you what is the step we are going to follow how to create image run and uh, delete image delete container see the container everything these basic commands are very important you should know all these commands i'll open a terminal I'm using item you can use terminal any terminal command command prompt okay now go to that project I'm already in that project directory if I say ls I can see it has all all the all the stuff here it has docker file so let me clear this let me put the command now to build what we are doing first step is as per this is first step is create an image and I'll, I'm going to put a com command for it. So docker build minus f docker file minus t demo app. Okay. Now see this command. Very simple command. Docker build. Remember docker build is to build that image. Minus f I'm saying the file name. What is my docker file name? And minus t. T is missed for tag. This for tagging purpose you will learn why we have to tag we have to give a name to image and you may use some image repository in future docker hub or or any cloud repository where you want to upload this image directly so that it is it is useful for minus c we have to give to tag that image the tags are very important and then dot for current directory okay if i'll run this command now it is start building that image if you see it is downloading everything all the dependencies reading the docker file and downloading all the dependencies and packed everything so it says it is done how do we know that it's completed successfully okay to see that image is created or not successfully i have to say docker images simple command docker images will list me all the images available to me so if you see this is what is created just now rest all are my old images or default images demo app we have given here demo app as a name demo app created tag latest image id this is my image id and it's created on 21 second before size is 546 megabyte this is the size of image now we'll try to run this image so this is the image we have created now we'll see how to run this image always remember we need docker container to run the image so to list down to see if any if 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 any container is already running we use command docker ps that says no container running because nothing is listing now we'll we'll try to run this 
image in a new docker container so command for that is docker run minus p at 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 and then our image that is a demo app i'll explain the meaning of this command so we are saying docker run run this image demo app and minus p for the port mapping so what we are we doing is this is our host port and this is our container port so that container port we are mapping with our host port so when the request comes to at at from a browser there will hit this at at and it will get mapped to the container at at port we'll see that let's run this it's saying that is spring boot application has started on at at now we'll test this application in a browser now let's try to hit that endpoint in a browser and see if we are getting a response so this is my browser and i've already prepared a url that our endpoint was hello and then it expects a name here and let's see let's hit yep so we are getting a response and we can see the logs it says received hello request modi okay so our application is successfully deployed and running in, in in a container with me so far now i'll show you how to stop this application how to remove the container how to remove the image because you should also know how to do a cleanup okay so we should know how to stop the container how to delete the container and then how to delete images so let's see that okay so this is our container running that image you cannot just do control c or some or shortcuts to stop this we have to run certain commands to stop this okay let me show you i'll open another tab i'll say docker ps so it will list it will tell me which container is running so this is a container detail container id image name and and so on it is running for four minute now and this is a mapping port mapping that we have created now to stop this okay remember to stop this docker stop that container id so it will stop that container okay with me it will stop that container okay now as the container is stopped we have to delete the image but if we try to delete the image we'll get error by saying that that image is being used in a stopped container let's try that docker image images oh uh, docker image rm okay rm for remove like a linux unix command and say demo app but it will not delete yeah it will not delete it says unable to remove repository because container this is using it now so before removing image we have to remove container so if we say docker ps as it is not listing the container because container is stopped ps command list all the active running containers if you want to list all the containers even if in a stopped state for that we have different command i'll show you that docker ps minus f you can say status exited yeah so here we go this is my container id now we'll remove this container first we'll remove this container first this container so that i can delete this image after that okay so i'll show you the command to remove this container let me clear this to do in fresh so this is my container and now docker rm that container id okay yeah so it is removed the container id is the container is no more if we list the stopped container we don't see that container now let list docker images and now we want to remove this docker image so we can now say docker image rm that image name demo app yeah it is deleted now let's list if it is there 
yeah so it is not there so we have done the complete cleanup we have seen how to do cleanup let me summarize what we have learned in this video we learned how to create docker file we saw basic instructions that we have given in the docker file then we saw how to build our image using a docker file then we saw how to run this image in a container and then we tested that image in a browser after testing successfully that application in browser we started cleaning up so we wanted to delete that image but before deleting that image we have to stop the container so we stop the container and then we delete that container we remove that container so that image is free to and we can delete that image then at the end we deleted image friends in next video we will see how can you run your application on custom ports there may be situation when you want to run your application on different ports than 8080 so what configuration you have to do to run on different ports on a specific port let's say 8082 8090 or something like that so in the next video we will learn how can you run your image on custom ports we will understand what is docker expose parameter we will learn what is docker run minus p option how can you create a port mapping okay what is the purpose of that port mapping then we will run our application on custom port we'll test that application on custom port we'll deploy our application in a container on that custom port and we'll test that so stay tuned do like share and subscribe this channel this is very useful information for all the beginners and students please do share with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe this channel code one digest thank you